Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. In today's video, I'm gonna cover some different tips you can use to keep your belongings safe in long-term storage and pest-free. So a couple different things that you wanna keep in mind when it comes to storing your stuff in long-term storage. You know, the storage units, the, the places that manage them, sometimes they're not really in control or on top of pest control, especially in your individual unit. So again, a lot of times that can fall on your hands or again, if you just wanna be extra safe and make sure your belongings aren't gonna have pest issues, you can take more of a proactive approach on your own rather than hoping that somebody else is gonna take care of pest issues when it comes to stuff that you're storing in long-term storage. One key factor for pests spreading very quickly is when things are very close and adjacent to each other. So that could be things like college dorms, apartment complexes, or in this case, long-term storage units where you might not have a specific pest issue in your individual unit, but that doesn't necessarily mean that other people and units around you are doing the right things to prevent pests. So they could be causing pest issues or already have pest issues, and those could quickly spread to your storage unit if left unchecked. So a couple things that you really wanna keep in mind with what you're storing and some preventative tips to prevent pest issues. So one thing is you don't wanna store food long-term in a long-term storage unit. Now, that may sound like common sense, but a lot of people unknowingly end up storing food without really realizing it. So again, maybe you're moving or again, you're just setting aside extra junk or things around your home. So what can happen is like in your moving example, you might have stored food like cardboard boxes, right? You've got a big bin and you're just taking things out of the drawers, out of the dressers, out of the cabinets, and you're just putting them in boxes and you kind of forget what's in everything. So you end up throwing these boxes in your long-term storage unit, little known to you that there's a bunch of food in there and that can attract rodents and other pests. So if you are gonna be storing food, just pay extra attention that they're in sealed containers, uh, preferably airtight seals so pests can't get in there, pests can't smell the food and know that there's stuff in there. So again, just in a cardboard box doesn't really cut it because pests can still smell that, they can still know that it's there and they're gonna get through those cardboard boxes to that food source. So again, if you're leaving food in a storage unit, it can lead to issues. On top of that, there's other things that you might be doing that you don't really realize that are causing pest issues. One could be making sure that if you're storing clothes, that you thoroughly clean those clothes before you store them. Now, you might not think that it would cause a big deal, or again, if you've maybe worn the shirt once, is it really a big deal if you store it? Well, the thing is, it might not seem dirty to you or have extra stuff on it, but the pests and the small size that they are, they can detect different smells and oils that will attract them to your clothes. You might have stuff on your clothes that you might not notice or really see, so like oils, skin cells, hair, crumbs, different things like that where you maybe only wore it once or twice or didn't thoroughly clean it and that's still on there. And so even though you can't really see it or notice it, it can be attracting pests. So if you do have clothes that you're storing, make sure that you do it in properly sealed containers. Uh, they even have like vacuum seal type bags now that you can put your clothes in. So that could be a good option to prevent pest issues from them sensing that attracting them through the particles from skin, hair, oils, crumbs, different things like that that may be on your clothes. On top of that, it can also happen with furniture where, again, they actually make like mattress covers that you can put over mattresses that you might be storing. And that's definitely a good idea because it's the same kind of thing where they could have oils and skin cells and hair on that mattress where, again, it looks totally clean to you, but to pests, it's attracting them to your mattresses and to your furniture. So make sure you vacuum your furniture, clean those off, seal any mattresses, put a cover on them to avoid some different pest issues. And again, like I said, you might not have pest issues or like, again, you might not have bed bugs on your mattresses, but it doesn't mean that people in other storage units 
don't have those issues and when it's in close proximity like that they can come from unit to unit to unit and again it can cause pest issues for you another good idea that you can do is keeping your belongings not just directly on the floor of the storage unit so if you can put some pallets in there so it's just not directly touching the floor um, it's again a little bit harder of an obstacle for those pests to get on those and then onto your belongings and on your stuff and cause damage Another thing to keep in mind too is if you don't have specific pest issues going on, sometimes bait traps can be a bad thing where pests will sense that bait, right? They'll sense that food. It's going to attract those pests and actually bring them into the unit. So if you have pest issues, bait traps can be a good thing to get rid of them. But again, get rid of those once you do get rid of those pests so you don't attract more into that unit so again couple different tips when you're storing your stuff in long-term storage to seal your furniture and clothes make sure they're clean make sure they're washed and don't be storing food in your long-term storage unit it can go a long way to help you prevent pest issues in your storage unit so again hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video if you did feel free to comment and share and if you do have pest issues be sure to head on over to rovepestcontrol.com and if you happen to be a first-time customer with us you can go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information there to get fifty dollars off your first service with us so if you want to set up a maintenance program for your home or you have specific pest issues again rovepestcontrol.com and then as a first-time customer rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off to get that great discount. But thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.